So what we're doing now is we're taking tubes, just different tubes. We have four of these little tubes. We put something that smells good in one of them. Mm -hmm. We hide all four of them, but something is good in one of them. Okay. When he indicates he's found the something good, we have him sit. Oh, wait, so the others are empty? Empty. Or, okay, yeah. Totally empty. Thought. Okay. And then when he finds the one that's something good in it, yeah. we say sit, plots, or down. Yeah. And that's when he lies down, then we give him a treat. Mm -hmm. So he's going to indicate by laying down that he's found something. Okay. So we've done it so far with the little ones with one each time. <laughs> so we're going to have one in this little one. Okay. And we'll hide all four of the little ones. Okay. Then I'm also, we haven't done this yet, so this is the first time we're doing this. We'll put one cent in one of the big ones. Okay. So we take big PVC pipe, mm -hmm. but we'll only put cent in one of them. I don't know what's, oh, there we go. That opens. And he's already crying back there. Yeah, he's ready. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't worry so much about hiding these yet, because he's just learning that these are... Mm -hmm filled with scent sometimes. Okay. So if you want to take a stinky one. And just. Let's put them, yep, just wherever. I'll put a non-stinky one here. Okay, so we got one there behind that. And then we'll put one over here. And then let's do the same thing with the small ones. So we'll have two. Okay, so one's over there. There you go. You hide the smelly one. Ooh. Okay. Next to the other smell. Right. Okay. So. Want to hide it back there by the herding ball? Yeah. Should we move that dish that's back there, though? Yeah, that's fine. Because that has food in it. All right. And then I'll have a treat with me. So when he indicates that he's found it, I give him a treat. Got it. Okay. So... A lot of stinky treats. All right, I'll go get him. Okay. All right. Straight to the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, come. Ah, ah. Come. Yes, over here. Seats. Lots. Stay. Watch it. All right. Good boy. Come. Wait. Wait. Come. All right. Come. Find it. Good. Come. Come. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Yes. Seats. Plots. Yes. Oh, Good boy. Yay. Come. Come. Woo. Oh, I can't open it. And you open it and he gets the treat. Good oh, boy. Good job. Now put this up so it doesn't still smell funny. <laughs> Good boy. Good. Come. Yes. Find it. Come. Come. Good boy. Find it. Find it. Find it. Yes, good boy. Seats. Good. Michael. <laughs> Michael, seats. Ah, seats. Plots. Yes, good Yay. boy. Good. Good he loves boy. This. Good boy. Yes. Yay! <laughs> you want to play? I'm going to get you. 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 That's what you've been waiting for and crying about all day. Oh, I'm going to get you. Come here. Push. Yes. Come on. Over here. Push. Yes. Good boy. Come. Touch. Touch. Yes. Good. All right. 
Let's go. Yeah. Good boy. Michael. Good boy. Come on. Back home. That's incredible. So what do you feel is the benefit of an exercise like that? Because it's so far away from what you do in the confirmation ring. I mean, I would think it would have everything to do with what you want to be able to have in the confirmation ring as far as being able to dial up that excitement and that passion for being with, you know, with you. Together, and working that teamwork together and, right there. Um, I mean, the dog looks as happy as a dog could possibly be. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> you know, again, the biggest mistake that people make is when they want, when they think they're preparing a dog for the confirmation ring, they're doing boring confirmation stuff. And so then you get to the ring and the dog has no connection with you, no enthusiasm, no wanting to be with you, doesn't see you as a high value toy, treat, target, whatever. Um, and now you get to that ring and you're going to have moments there where you're going to wish you had a better connection. You know, you first come into the ring, the judges got you under pressure because you're, he's looking at all these dogs, you're wanting your dog to look good. And so you're a little nervous there and your dog starts going to the ground and ignoring and looking for some place to be. And you're there trying and begging to try to get that dog up. Those are the times when you wish you had a better connection with that dog. Then after the judging is over towards the end and you're at the finale where the judge is looking at all these dogs and you're trying to get this dog to look spectacular and this dog is going to the ground, yawning, stretching, you know, looking like it's just not interested whatsoever. How does that make you feel? It's devastating. <laughs> it's so, it's like all your hopes and dreams are like, Right, gone. all that hard work yeah. and all the preparation of what people told you you need to practice yeah. for that ring. You got nothing. You got nothing. Yeah, it's just like that. That's all I got, Judge. That's that's <laughs> We're it. Done. Um, we're done. Yeah, I'm we sorry. Go. Back See to ya. back to the drawing board right there. So when you start doing things and make upping that level of difficulty, it makes you feel good that your dog is doing this your dog is and you're seeing how smart this dog really is so that's bringing your confidence up right that's bringing your admiration up in this dog right. when you're going wow i got the greatest dog out there right and you're just tapping it, into their natural yeah. what they really want to be smiling doing. happy the dog sees that you're happy the dog yeah. sees when you're upset you're you're creating a pattern where the dog wants to be with you correct where it feels good they know that if you're together we're gonna have fun. No matter what we're doing, we're gonna have a good time. And if you have that type of magic in the confirmation ring, then there's nothing you can't do, especially if you have a good dog. Because now the judge is gonna see one of the most important parts of this is this dog still has the genetics to do what it was bred to do. Mm -hmm. It has that character, it has that energy, it has that enthusiasm, all that stuff right there. And you're starting to see it now with just playing with your dog. Mm -hmm. So that's, when people say, you know, I need to get ready for a show, before you came here, what did you think that meant? <clears throat> well, doing what they told me to do, which was go to confirmation classes and stand in line and go through the motions of, yeah. Down and back, Down and take back. your dog around, yeah. that was great. Yeah. Hey baby, good girl.